2018 Ford Edge SEL trim. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to go over all the standard as well as optional equipment, those different packages, different trim levels that are available on your 2018 Ford Edge SEL trim. So if you're looking for information on the SE, you haven't watched that video yet, uh, you can check the link down below. We'll have that link there. As well as we're going to get the, eventually get to the titanium and the sport trim too. So if you're looking for those videos, definitely want to hit that subscription button and that notification bell so you can get notified every time we have a, a new video uploaded. And the next videos that we will do will be on this trim when it comes to this different uh, series that we're doing on the Edge. Uh, so I think you'll like this video. It's also a great video if you want to tag this maybe uh, uh, share it uh, to some other friends who are looking for equipment because we're going to go over all the uh, standard equipment that's been carried over from not only the SE but also to the SEL, how they're going to look different, also the different packages and different trim levels. So I think you'll like this and this one actually carries over in, uh, between that SE and that titanium so I think you'll, you'll like some of that equipment. So if you're looking for a little bit of some of the luxury features but don't need the, all the features from the titanium, this might be a good, perfect fit for you. So. Check the timestamp down below. I will go over the different packages and put those timestamps as well as the price that are available on these packages. Someone will let me know that, hey, it would be a good idea to add uh, what those packages cost. So you're going to see those down below as well as on the video when we go through those different equipment. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about safety first. Now all of the uh, edges are going to have the same safety features in the vehicle. Uh, of course you are going to have, you're protected all the way around with great airbags in this. You're going to have a dual stage airbag for the driver. So it's going to deploy a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the steering when you have the accident. Also you're going to have a front airbag for the front passenger up there too of course. And then both the driver and front passenger are going to have knee airbags as well as side impact airbags. And that side impacts are going to protect you from any kind of side collision there. You're also going to have the safety canopy airbags that's going to come down for those occupants on the outside to protect you from any kind of rollover uh, for not only the front seat but the back seats back there. And then this does have advanced track with roll stability control. So it's going to help you stand your intended path and help from any kind of rollover. So hopefully that won't happen for you. Also, if you happen to have an accident and you're off the road, this does have your SOS post-crash alert system that's going to honk the horns, flash the lights, and let people know that you're uh, off the road and that you need help. Also, it has the 911 assist, and that's through the sync technology. And when you connect your phone, it's going to call someone's uh, 911 if for some reason you can't get your phone uh, and, uh, and be able to shut that off. So if you're unaware, if you're knocked out or something, it's going to go ahead and, and take care of that for you. So some great safety features on all your edges. Now this can come in either front wheel drive or all wheel drive and both of those are going to come with your six speed automatic transmission with select shift. And in the SEL, the select shift, uh, you can uh, shift it with your paddle shifters there right behind your steering wheel. And so if you want to go in that sport mode, shifting the vehicle like a manual transmission, you're going to use the paddle shifters right behind the steering wheel. Also, this will come in two different engines. The standard engine is going to be your 2.0 liter four-cylinder EcoBoost engine. Uh, that is a standard equipment, so that's going to go, go ahead and go over performance. For fuel economy, you can expect 20 on the city and about 29 on the highway. Uh, so, and then that's for your front-wheel drive version. Your all-wheel drive is going to get to the same 20 in the city, but on the highway it's going to be a couple less. It's going to be about 27. Uh, your horsepower for both the front wheel drive and all wheel drive is going to be 245 horsepower, 275 foot pound of torque. So plenty of power behind this. In fact, this engine does have a little more torque than the, the optional engine. And let's go ahead and talk about the optional engine. It's a 3.5 liter natural aspirated V6 engine. Uh, that one's going to get a little better, a uh, little less fuel economy on it. Now, we say optional. What that means is there's an actual, an added cost uh, to upgrading to that engine uh, if you're wanting that. And I'll put the cost down here on the screen as well as down in the description if you want to check out the cost on that. Uh, now, the, uh, talk about performance on that. For fuel economy, it's going to be a little less. So it's about 17 in the city uh, for your front wheel drive, and it's going to get you to 26 on the highway. And for your all-wheel drive, it's going to get the same in the city, that 17, but on the highway, it's going to be three less. So it's only 23 on the highway for that engine there. So as you can see, that, that EcoBoost can get you a little bit better fuel economy. Now for performance, though, you're going to get 280 horsepower, so quite a bit more horsepower than the EcoBoost. Uh, and then for your torque, it's going to be right around 250 
pound-feet of torque. So uh, pretty good. Uh, both of those engines are very adequate engines no matter what way you go. Uh, I do think if you're looking for fuel economy and wanting this to get some a better fuel economy, you're probably going to want to stay with that EcoBoost engine and it's a little bit cheaper too. Uh, now let's go ahead and look at the front of the vehicle. This does have the real nice grill. Same grill as the SE. So it has a silver accent here uh, on the bars and it has a chrome as well going across there and the chrome surround. Body colored bumpers and that's a section right here between your headlights and these LED signature lighting. What's great about these LED signature lighting is they are daytime running lights. So you can check that box in your settings and it's going to stay on during the daytime. Kind of gives you a good impact as you're coming down the road and it's a nice safety feature so people can see that there's some lights there uh, and that there's a car coming. Also it does have your automatic headlights so they're going to come on automatically as it gets dark and when you have it set on that setting. Uh, also what's great about that it's wiper activated so when you turn your wipers on your headlights will come on as well because that is a state law here in Kansas and in most states actually. And so real good look here on the front of the vehicle. Uh, I think you're going to like it. Uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up if you like some of the equipment so far we've covered. Now the wheel on the side here on the standard on the SEL is going to be this 18 inch split spoke sparkle silver painted aluminum wheel. So same uh, covering on the wheel there but a little bit different look than the SE. Uh, so I like kind of like that split the split spoke uh, look there to it. Also, for your mirror here, you're going to have a body color mirror cap. That is an upgrade for the SEL. Also, turn signal indicator on the outside. So that way people coming from the side are going to be able to know that you're wanting to turn. It does have the security approach lamp. That's going to light the ground beside the vehicle. Some people like to call it the puddle lamp. And this does have your power heated glass with that integrated blind spot mirror. And that's that angled mirror so you can see the vehicles in your blind spot just a little bit better. It uh, does have the intelligent access. In fact, all your edges have that so you can have that key fob in your pocket, purse, whatever it is. You just walk up, put your hands in a door handle. It's going to automatically unlock the vehicle. And in the settings, of course, you can set it up to unlock just the driver's door or all the doors. It's really up to your preference and what you'd like. And then when you get inside, you don't have to get the keys out to start the vehicle either. And then uh, when you do get out, you can just press the ridges on any of the doors and it's going to lock the vehicle up for you. And then we do have keypad on the pillar and what that allows you to do, it's kind of an invisible keypad. If you can see it now, it lights up. Uh, allows you to be able to set your own personal codes. If you want to leave the keys inside the vehicle, uh, lock the vehicle, that way you can get in and out and don't have to, yeah, uh, maybe you don't have pockets or something. Or maybe you need to access the vehicle, you don't have the keys on you. Just to grab something out of it or something, uh, let the keys, uh, the kids get in there or something, you can use the keypad to unlock and lock the vehicle getting in and out that way too. Uh, now this does not come with remote start, so uh, have your unlock, lock, and your panic on your remote here. Also, privacy glass is going to be standard equipment on these, so the back windows as well as the back glass are going to have that tinted glass. Uh, nice, great look, but also kind of keeps it a little bit cooler for those in the rear seat. And we did tint the front windows here at the dealership, so that's not going to be part of the, this package. Nice chrome accent as well around the windows, just kind of finish everything up here on the side. Now as we come to the back, you're going to have a body colored rear spoiler up here with a molded in black underneath there and a high gloss black finish on these pieces on the outside of the back wind, the windshield here, back glass. Does have your rear defrost with rear wiper. Has your LED tail lights and I'm going to actually unlock it so you can kind of see the difference um, when you do have it unlocked. So you can, these are your LED tail lights here. This bar here does not light up. Uh, it will when you go up to the titanium level. Uh, you can get that to light up and go along with your headlights and such. Uh, but on the SEL, it will not. Just keep that in mind. It does have your rear view camera with reverse sensing. So as you're backing up, you're going to be able to see behind you and you're going to get alerted if you get too close to anything. Now, reverse sensing is standard equipment on the SEL. It's not standard equipment on your SE. It's optional equipment on an SE. Uh, also, back here, you're going to have the nice look underneath here. Uh, if you notice on the front, as well as these under here, is a nice silver accented uh, skid plate, the front and rear skid plate that kind of protects it down there, but gives it a nice little look, too, on it, so it kind of dresses it up a little bit. And you have your dual exhaust under here, too. Go ahead and open up this lift gate. It is still manual lift gate for the SEL, just like in the SE. And here in the back, you're going to be carpeted in the floor as well as the seat backs. And you do get 60-40 split bench seat. And so what's great about the, that is that you can, uh, those seats can recline separate. So if you want to recline it back, let the kid, uh, those kids in the back recline the seats back to relax a little bit. It reclines actually quite a bit back uh, for you to do that. Also, they'll go, they'll go forward, fold forward. And what's great about this is you don't have to go around to pull any kind of levers. Uh, you can just use the buttons back here. You, there's a left and a right button. You just uh, press that and it's going to go ahead and just uh, release it to let that seat fall forward. Uh, and then of course you do the other one right there and it's going to fall forward as well. Now that 60% size is a little heavier seat so it does take a little bit more time, a little more effort for it to lay down. Uh, and again it's not a power fold seat, it is a power release. 
Also back here, you're gonna see some compartments to put some things in. You got one over here on the left side, as well as a couple over here on the right, one little compartment, and another one where uh, usually a lot of people will stow uh, the cargo netting back here. And what the netting does is also has some hooks on both sides up here and some loops down here. You're gonna be able to position that in four places to keep that tight across the back. Put all those small items in there, they won't roll around on you. Uh, and so that's a great way to be able to, to protect the, you know, the rest of the cargo and not bother you on your trip. And then when you're not using it, you can just stow it in here. You can also stow it in this other compartment up there. Some people put it up there too. Uh, and you have an, a light back here so you can see. Also, there is a 12 volt uh, power point back here too. So if you need to charge some phones or maybe the kids in the back seat, they can always uh, run theirs back here too. And then in the vehicle, standard equipment, you're gonna get the carpeted mats for the footwells for the front seats as well as the back ones back here. So you're gonna have four carpeted mats uh, that are gonna be standard equipment. And, and back here in the back, we always put, we always order all of our vehicles with the front tag bracket. Keep in mind, the front tag bracket is actually optional equipment on all your vehicles. Now let's move to the interior. Uh, now here on the interior, you're gonna have two different color interiors you can get. Either the black, uh, charcoal black, which means everything is gonna be black in the inside of the vehicle, or you have your dune interior. And when you get through dune interior, you're gonna have the dune inserts, uh, color inserts here on the doors, as well as your headliner is gonna be uh, the dune in color, as well as your seats. Uh, now, when you look across the dash, it does look a little bit different than the SE. Uh, it takes uh, the finishes instead of a gray to a satin finish around your vents and on the side of the instrument panel and the steering wheel. So just a different look to the vehicle here on the inside. And it still has the same gray accent right here above the glove box, which I really like. I think I think I'm glad that they carried that over. Now your seats are going to be cloth seating surfaces, standard equipment. Should have a little bit different inserts in those seats. Don't happen to have a 200A package to be able to show you that, um, but I will get you a clip of one off of the internet that I found. And then you're also going to get upgraded power seats for the driver and front passenger. So the driver is going to get a 10-way power seat for uh, take that seat cushion forward and back up and down your backrest your recline I should say is going to be powered as well and power lumbar the passenger seat is going to be a six way so it's going to control the seat cushion so forward and back up and down for it and you're going to have a manual adjustment for the recline back seat seats three back there 60 40 split bench seat so those uh, does have an armrest that comes out of the middle backrest with two cup holders in it and then also you get a power point behind that console here on the door, you have your power windows, locks, mirror switches, including auto one-touch for those front windows. Also does have leather wrap steering wheel, standard equipment, manual tilt and telescoping. So just pull the lever underneath it. It's going to go up and down, forward and back. And it's going to have cruise control on the left side of the steering wheel with Bluetooth and audio controls on the right side of the steering wheel. And there's two directional D-pads uh, is what they call them on the left side as well as the right side of the steering wheel. It's going to control the left and right instrument panel settings over here. Mentioned the push button start earlier, so you don't have to get the keys out of your pocket. Also, it's going to get dual zone auto climate controls upgraded to the SEL, so the driver and front passenger can have two different temperatures. And for your audio controls, AM, FM, CD player, now you get Sirius satellite as standard equipment uh, on your audio controls. And then up here on the mirror, you get auto dimming rear view mirror that's upgraded too to the SEL. It means uh, when someone's come up behind you with those bright lights, it's going to go ahead and automatically dim that for you. So you don't have to pull that lever anymore. And so we'll a little go over a couple other compartments as well, uh, just like in the SE. So you're going to get a compartment up here above the dash. You can put some small items in, maybe a wallet or some things like that. Also, you're going to have a compartment right here in front of the uh, shifter knob. Uh, you can put a little, little compartment to put some things down there. Maybe the thought is putting a cell phone in there because it does have two smart USB ports. It allows you to be able to plug those smartphones in using your USB cable that came with your phone to be able to charge those. Also here in the console, there's two different switches. Let's see if I can get it right. Yeah, the right switch over here, if you pull it and open it, it's going to give you access to this tray in here, which you can put small items in there. Pin, I think there's a little slot for a pin so it won't roll around. And you still have access to the coin tray there as well. And when you use the left one, it's going to hold that compartment up there, and then it's going to give you access to this deep well. As you can see, it goes all the way up to my elbow, so a lot of room down there. Also, it does have another power point here, so now we have four power points, two smart USB ports to be able to charge those different devices in the vehicle. So real nice equipment as, as standard. You even have the shelf here with another power point here, and that's that fourth one uh, right there in the vehicle. So, uh, so again, great equipment. even has eight cup holders in the vehicle, two here, two in that back console uh, armrest, I should say, plus one in each of the doors. So, uh, again, lots of storage for your different devices that are standard equipment on all your uh, SEL edges. 
Now let's talk about the 201A package. Now this package, I'm even going to put the cost of this package down uh, right here on the bottom of the screen. Also, you can find it down in the description. And uh, what's great about this package is it really takes that SEL and gives it some other leather features. And a lot of our SELs we will order with this package on it, just because we feel like from the SE to the SEL, we like to go with the leather seats. And so as you just mentioned, you are going to get the leather seating surfaces as part of this package. Also, you're going to get heated seats for these front seats up here as also part of this package. And you're going to get the uh, Sync 3 system. Sync 3 is a really nice, it's a third generation voice enhanced recognition system where you can control your, your phone, your audio, and your climate through that system. Also, it's going to come with a premium audio sound system, nine speakers. You're going to get that pinch to zoom capability as well if you go with the optional navigation. And then I mentioned earlier the 911 assist, that's actually optional, that's actually part of this package. It's not standard on all your uh, edges, so I want to correct that right now. Also, these two USB ports down here are also part of the Sync 3 package. They're not standard equipment. So a couple of corrections there from earlier uh, in the video that I wanted to correct on this, but um, pretty nice little upgrade. So you get the leather heated seats. You're also going to get the upgraded Sync 3 system with a premium audio sound system, nine speakers. So a real good package uh, that is part of this 201A package. Now let's talk about the convenience package. And don't forget, I'm going to have the price of this package down in the description as well as on the bottom of the screen right here. So th this package includes five features. One of those is going to be your navigation. So it is going to upgrade your Sync 3 system with that pinch and zoom capabilities. Also comes with the Sirius XM traffic and travel link along with that. Also, you're going to get the universal garage door openers up here on the visor. It's going to include three different garage doors you can open up using those transmitters. So it will use gates as well uh, if you want to open those up too. Also, it's going to come with remote start. So the remote start is going to be on your remote. So you can hit that lock button once, hit the remote start twice, and it's going to go ahead and remote start the vehicle. What's great about it is you can set it up in your settings to uh, start for and run for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or 15 minutes, and then it'll shut the vehicle off. So that way it doesn't keep running in case you forgot you uh, remote started your vehicle. Also, it'll go through twice before you have to come in and actually start the vehicle. So uh, again, remote start is going to come in real handy uh, during the winter time. I think you'll like that. Also, you get your 110 outlet. Uh, 110 outlet is going to be that three-prong outlet, so you can be able to charge those computers, smartphones. Maybe uh, if you use the plug-in instead of the USB port, uh, you're going to be able to use those 110 outlet in the vehicle too. Uh, and um, don't have a vehicle with the 110 outlet, but I'm sure I'm pretty positive that it's going to be either behind the console here, probably for those in the back seat, and there might even be one here either in the console or in this compartment up here. So uh, that's going to be a nice upgrade uh, to this uh, for this package and you get the hands-free lift gate. So what's great about the hands-free lift gate is you just give it a kick underneath there with the remote in your, in your hand or your pocket, and it's gonna go ahead and open up that lift gate. Keep in mind, you don't have to wave the foot around. It's just a straight kick forward uh, to be able to activate that. Now let's talk about the cold weather package. Uh, cold weather package is a nice feature for those who spend a lot of time during the winter time and they really don't like the cold and they want those some of those features here. And one of the things you're going to get is the all weather floor mats. So it's going to uh, give you those. You're still going to get the carpeted mats, uh, but they'll also give you the all weather mats to go in here. So they're going to be the floor liners for the footwells and the front seats as well as the back seats back there. Also, you're going to get heated steering wheel as part of that package. Now, this vehicle does have this package on it, so you're going to see on the screen for your uh, those uh, heated steering wheel. Uh, so that's a real nice package there. Also, you're going to see the windshield wiper de-icers as part of this package. What's great about that is when in the, in the winter time you're going to defrost the windshield, and sometimes it does a, it cleans off the windshield, but the, that water collects on your windshield wipers, and they just aren't of any use. The windshield wiper de-icers will help with that. So that way, in those uh, situations, uh, it's going to be able to be useful for your windshield as it keeps snowing or even sleeting on you while you're driving. Let's talk about another package you can get and that's new for 2018 for not only the Edge but a lot of the vehicles in the different models in the Ford lineup and that is the Ford Safe and Smart Package and again I'll have the price down in the description uh, on this package. Uh, what, it includes some safety features as well as some nice technology features and one of those features is your adaptive cruise control. It includes the Ford collision warning with brake support. So what I like about this it is uh, your cruise control so you can set that and you don't have to worry about hitting your brake. As you approach somebody from behind if they're going slower to you you, it's going to slow you down when you pass them or they speed you back up it's going to speed your cruise back up as well so uh, I love that system also the, the forward collision warning uh, works to where if they're stopped ahead of you and you're not paying attention it'll actually put some series of lights uh, on your dash there or right under the windshield 
as well as a series of tones that that person is stopped and you need to hit your brakes. And then if you're not doing that, it'll go ahead and start with the brake support so that when you transition over, it's already in the process of braking the vehicle. So that's gonna come in very handy and it's a nice safety feature. Also, lane keeping system is a part of this package too. So it's not just an alert system. It, it actually in Ford, the order guide says it's a lane keeping system. So sometimes you have some systems where it just alerts you as you go out of your lane. This will do that, but it also includes, I believe the lane keeping where it actually keeps you in your lane too. And it uses the different sensors on the vehicle. So uh, that's really nice having that as part of this package. Also, you get auto high beams up here, just like your automatic headlights. It's going to turn those high beams on. If there's no one in front of you, it's dark out, it's going to go ahead and turn those on. If you're in the city or if there's someone in front of you close enough, it's going to go ahead and dim the lights. And this is something you can actually adjust in your settings too. If it's a feature you don't like, you want to handle that yourself, uh, you can shut that off in these settings as well. Rain sensing wipers is also part of this package. Uh, what's great about that, it goes along with the windshield wiper de-icers real nicely as part of that uh, convenience package, and, uh, or that cold weather package, I should say. And uh, what it's gonna do is, it's, as it starts to rain, it's gonna automatically turn those wipers on. Uh, so that comes in real handy, especially for those intermittent settings where the rain uh, keeps changing the speeds uh, as you're driving on the road. Uh, this will take care of that so you won't have to keep turning your, your intermittent uh, in those, those different spots there. It uh, also works when it's even raining a lot harder. It'll go ahead and, and adjust it on the fly too. So. Uh, a little bit of uh, like a one or two second delay, but it'll go ahead and, and adjust that speed of those wipers. And the last feature on this, and one of my favorite features, is the Bliss with Cross Traffic Alert. And that's a blind spot information system. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of the mirror and let you, of that side and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. As you're backing up, if someone's going to cross your path behind you, it's going to put a, a light in the corner of the mirror on the side they're coming from. Also puts a message on the dash telling you the same thing in a series of tones and it's not safe to back up. So again, uh, I love that feature. I think it's a great feature, especially in this parking lot. So as you're backing out of driveways, uh, that kind of situation, as well as when you're driving not only down on the highway, but also even in the city, if there's someone in your blind spot, you're going to know that as well. So this is a great package that again is new for 2018. Let's talk about a package that is uh, new for 2018 and that's the SEL Sport Appearance Package. So this is a real cool package I actually talked about it on one of my live streams. Uh, so if you're looking for something that uh, you want a sporty look uh, but don't need the performance of the Sport Package, uh, the Sport Trim, this would be a good one for you. So I'll, a lot of times I ask the customers when they want an Edge Sport, I usually ask them, well, do you want the performance of that uh, with that EcoBoost, the higher performance 27 EcoBoost, or are you wanting a look of it? And if they're wanting the look, this would be a great package uh, for you and not available in the SE trim or the titanium trim, so keep that in mind. And it is gonna give it more of a sport look, so it's an appearance package uh, primarily. So uh, it's gonna change a lot of the different silver accents on the vehicle to a magnetic metallic. So I'm gonna mention those two phrases and colors a lot throughout this, uh, this clip here, uh, but please keep that in mind. Uh, here at the front on the grill, it's gonna turn the silver to that magnetic metallic paint uh, color here on the grill, so it's gonna uh, darken that up. Also your skid plate under there, that bottom part, that silver, it's gonna give it that magnetic metallic look as well. Your headlight assembly is also gonna give a darker headlight assembly too, so it's gonna take the aluminum finish and give it the dark look there on the headlights. Your wheels are gonna be upgraded to a 19 inch premium metallic or magnetic metallic painted aluminum wheel, so not only bigger in size, but also bigger in appearance and look. Your body color mirror caps are now gonna be the magnetic metallic painted mirror caps here. And then your belt line is gonna go from this bright belt line to a black belt line. So it gives, again, give that sport look. Your rear spoiler is also gonna be changed from the body color rear spoiler to that magnetic metallic painted rear spoiler. And then the rear skid plate, just like the front one, is also gonna to go to that same magnetic metallic uh, paint uh, finish there on the, the rear skid plate. And then inside, you're gonna see some nice upgrades. You can have that gray cloth seats there with the Miko suede um, perforated uh, umber color insert. So real nice look to it uh, that I think you'll like. Also, the above the glove box is gonna change from that gray color to a aluminum applique above the glove box, and then you're gonna get your black floor mats in there too. So again, new for 2018, uh, I think you'll like that if you're really looking for a nice sport look to the vehicle. 
Let's talk about one last package before we get to standalone option. That is the cargo accessory package. And as we uh, move to that package, I want to kind of also let you know on some of the packages we've covered so far. You have that convenience package, also the cold weather package, and the one we just talked about, that SL Sport appearance package. Those are only available in your 201A package. So you have to get that package to get those different ones. Now, we did talk about the uh, uh, safe and smart package. Now that is available on either one of your 200 or 201A as well as this cargo accessories package that we're going to talk about now. That's available on either one of those. Now that's a great package if you're going to put a lot of things in the back cargo area uh, because it'll protect it back there. You're going to get a cargo mat that's going to protect the floor of the, of the cargo, that carpet back there. Also you're going to get a cargo cover that you can pull. It's a retractable cover that you can pull over the back so you can protect things People can't see things in the belongings you have back there. And it's going to get you the rear bumper protector. And that's going to go a little uh, thing that's going to go on the bumper uh, that protect the vehicle. Now, keep in mind, this package can be ordered from the factory. Regardless of if it's ordered beforehand or afterwards, it's still going to be put on at the dealership um, and be got, uh, it's going to go through the parts department. So, again, if you have, if vehicle has everything else you want but that package, that's something you can still get through the parts department after you order your vehicle. Now there aren't a lot of optional or standalone options on this vehicle, so I'm going to go ahead and go, go over those. And actually there's one that's actually a package that's available on either the 200 or 201A package, and that's your Class 2 uh, tow package. And that's going to come with sway control and your Class 2 receiver hitch. So that is available on either the 200 or 201A package. And then some other standalone options that we can, uh, we can have that's available on the 200 or 201A package. One of those is the roof side rails. Uh, and that's available just like with the SE, so that the black side rails um, that can go on the vehicle uh, as optional equipment. Uh, also, uh, another optional equipment is the rear inflatable seat belts. And those two outbound uh, rear seats are going to have those inflatable seat belts. So if you have a collision, that front collision, they're going to expand. Hopefully, the kids in the back then uh, won't have uh, so many uh, problems there with any kind of marks on them or any kind of injuries because of those front collisions. So that's also a standalone option on either one of those. Now, there's a couple other options that are require you to have the 201A package, and one of those is an upgraded wheel. So you can't get an 18-inch polished aluminum wheel. So it's going to give it that chrome look to it. If you're wanting that look, that is optional as long as you have the 201A package. Also the panoramic Vista roof with the uh, power sunshade, the power open and close roof too, and it comes with the laminated glass. So uh, the reason that's laminated is the front windshield, which I didn't mention, is I did mention the SC video, that the front windshield gets a laminated glass and that is two sheets of glass with plastic in between. So it's going to make it quieter. So you're going to get that same glass here on the roof too, so that that way, because of the glass roof, you don't, it doesn't give you any kind of wind noise. So uh, you're going to have, that's a great uh, finish, and as you can see, this vehicle does have that option on there. Uh, that really uh, helps out and really enhances uh, that quality. Now there are other couple of features as well that are standalone options, but they can be ordered through the parts accessories. In fact, they're going to come pre-installed, which means if you do order them from factory that way, they're going to come to the dealership and the dealership will install them. And one of those is the dual headrest DVD players. And so there are separate DVD players, so you can uh, uh, play them uh, with again, se separate movies, one a gaming system, a uh, really nice DVD headrest with uh, headphones that go along with it for those in the rear seat to be able to enjoy. Also all weather mats. And so that is just like the rear cargo accessory package. Uh, you can uh, get those all weather mats. They're going to protect the footwells there in the front as well as the back seats from those ice and that kind of thing. And again, that is a package, uh, part of the cold weather package, but it's a standalone option as well. So that's all the standard as well as optional equipment that's available on the SEL trim of the 2018 Ford Edge. Now let's talk about warranties real quick. The warranty is a three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. It's gonna cover most items except for your wear and tear items like tires, brakes, uh, windshield wipers, those kind of things. Also, you're going to get a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty and roadside assistance. So uh, that's going to help protect you and keep you, uh, when you're driving on the road for 60,000 miles, that roadside assistance could come in real handy if you're stranded on the side of the road with the vehicle. Uh, now, also check out our website, lawmacarthur.com. There in each one of our vehicles, you can check for availability, you can schedule a test drive, you can browse our inventory. Now, you can also see the original window sticker on all of our new uh, vehicles. So do check that out because the top of the window sticker it shows all that standard equipment that I've mentioned in this video and then below that is you're going to see those optional equipment with the MSRP price. 
And the reason I kind of mention that is because on our website we do things that are real simple. We have the MSRP price on every one of our vehicles and you're going to see that discounted price, that internet price uh, that's going to include all rebates. And the reason I say that is that we get very aggressive with our internet pricing. So do check that out. If you don't live in the state of Kansas, you live somewhere else, I think you're going to find this real easy to work with because uh, as the internet manager we price these very aggressive. Uh, you're probably not going to find another one as cheap as what we have. We do invoice minus rebate and do call us because sometimes rebates do change and I miss a few things because uh, we're not like other dealerships. We don't have the, in, the incentives coming from Ford. I uh, update those myself. Uh, so you're going to find one of the best prices. We like to make it easy to work with us here uh, and I think you're going to find that. Now if you don't live in Kansas and you'd like to work with us, uh, do give us a call or you can even send us a text message at 785-378-5031. We can either order a vehicle, it takes about six to eight weeks from the factory, or we can even bring one in from another dealership if you'd like and get something that, that's, a, that's something that you like. And if you buy from us, you mentioned that you saw this on YouTube, uh, we will ship your vehicle for free anywhere in the, in the uh, middle of the U.S. here, 48 states. So we'll go from California to, to New York, we'll ship all over the place and we've been doing a lot of business that way. And uh, we'll do that for free if you mention you saw this on YouTube, uh, because a lot of times uh, most vehicle will, people will finance their vehicle and uh, we do get a, a little bit of kickback from Ford Credit to be able to uh, pay for that free shipping. So uh, we wanna definitely take you, take that, uh, take, help you out there and to make this a, an easy process for you. Again, we like to be transparent with all of our information, just like this video here, letting people know exactly what's uh, available on your SELs. So I think you'll find this easy to work with. Now hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel because we do have a lot of videos like this. Check out those playlists on our channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time we have a new, vi uh, new video uploaded uh, on different vehicles there. I think you'll enjoy it. Now we are a Lincoln dealership too, so check out those videos there on our channel. And don't forget, hit that like button, put the comments down below. I really love that feedback. If I miss something uh, out there, just let me know and I'll update that the, the description down there so that everybody else can get updated with that correct information because that is something I like to provide to all of our viewers. So I hope you like this video on the 2018 Ford Edge SEL and we'll see you on the next video.